Hey guys, Mary and the Barbarian coming back at you with another video. Um, I'm going to do a video that when I first started thinking about doing videos, I've wanted to do for a while. Um, before I get to that, I want to thank Johan for saying such kind words about me on Shaving Butcher. Watch that video today. Um, I want to thank Shaving with Chief. Really didn't expect a shout out, but that was great. Been loving his videos. If y'all watched his video today, you can see he was a little perturbed. Had some high expectations. Can't say as I blame him. It is a lot of money to spend for something that just smells like lemon pledge or something. So I totally agree with him there. I um, want to thank everybody for subscribing. I can't believe I have this many subscribers already with two videos. Um, everybody watching, appreciate the comments. Just keep them coming. I'll try to answer them as I can. So let's get back to it. This is a shave I do when I have to get out the door early in the morning. Um, I enjoy it because it does have some sentimental reasons, but it's really fast. I'm going to use palm olive for men cream, not the mentholated version. Going to use skin bracer. Let's hold that up so I don't cover it with the label. Everybody knows what this is. This is very common stuff, you guys. They're going to be like, oh great, he's using what everybody's used. I just think it's a good budget shave. It's a good way to get started. This is my vintage Gillette brush. You can barely see the Gillette on there. I'm going to figure out how to put some leafing of blue or something in there just so it pops a little bit more. I hate this knot. Pretty much soak it all the way up to the end of the handle. I don't care. Um, it's almost like a boar brush. But the guy said it was pure badger. I don't know if it's camel hair, goat hair, donkey hair at this point. it's It's got a lot of backbone. It feels like a boar, just not quite as rough. I, I really don't know, but I don't care if I destroy it. I don't always soak it. And it lathers well enough, and it's a small knot, easy to clean. It's just a brush I pretty much don't care about. I will once I replace the knot, because I do like vintage gear. And this one was made in the UK. If you can read. And it is, I believe it was, yeah, bristle and hair is what it says. It didn't even say bristle and badger, just said bristle and hair. So we're going to use this today. Now this is one of my favorite razors. I got it early on. It takes half DE blades. It's the Focus Dynamic R48, I believe it is. So if you've seen these and you've used them, right? This pretty much works the same way. I got this from the Superior Shave just like I got this one from the Superior Shave. He has little outside the box type things to be purchasing. Um, more European based items, um, more geared towards straight razor shavers. He does carry a bunch of focus items made in Italy. Um, I think there's a Focus Tri Talk or something. He's got right now, it's a DE Razor um, CNC machined aluminum, aluminum. I do enjoy the stuff. Sorry, guys, I'm breaking a blade right now. I got these because I was watching Manny at one of his truck stop videos, and I think he said this was one of his wives, and I, he was using it. And I really like the packaging, so I got a five pack, see how it is. Um, Went ahead, snap the blade, pop it out, load it in here. All right, so this loads just like the Slim. Let's see if I can get it in there. I am not the best at loading it. Sometimes it takes two tries. Just put it in like that. And when you do put it in, when you break it, you always want the bend tabs facing towards the post. Um, it's what he put. On the website, oh, that's not good. Just drop the blade. If it's bad when it's all said and done, I've got another half blade, right? So put that in. I hold it securely with the edge. Let me just see if I can do this on camera. It's not the easiest. Well, that's a horrible view. Just take it, put it on, slide over. It's really nice. Mm, wasn't a good one, guys. I'm not going to do it on camera. I want to get it right because I do love this razor. 
All right. And it doesn't have magnets like the leaf. So I've heard, I, I don't have the leaf. Something I'm interested in getting, but I moved away from cartridge razors and I know it's not a cart, but I assume it still kind of tugs like a cart would. Be great for head shaving like I've seen other people do. Sorry, checking the blade gap. I think I got that one right this time. Oh, does that look right? Yeah, I think we got it right. All right, sorry guys. Spent so much time messing with it. I haven't used this razor in a while. Sometimes I use the one blade. I use this, sometimes I use a DE, but I really like this. I'm gonna kind of explain it like I saw on Superior Shave when I watched his. You push this until you want to push towards the top so that it presses the angle in place. And it pushes this lower part all the way up against your face. Kind of stretches for you. You'll see how it works. It's, it's kind of counterintuitive. It is not like the one blade or anything else like that. But I really enjoy it. I've never gotten cuts with it. Um, generally don't get irritation. I may have to do three passes to get a BBS. But this is, if you've got sensitive skin, this is for you. So I've talked enough about this razor. Put in the palm olive just a little bit at the top. A little bit at the top. Wet the face. Now palm olive was one of the first things I purchased as a cream and the reason being was my grandmother used Paul of Mollive dish soap so it really reminds me of her not the grandmother married to the grandfather I've mentioned before but it reminds me of her and time I spent at her house and woman was a saint loved her deeply greatly miss her but Actually, I found out she passed away the week I found out I was having my first child. So, good news with the bad, right guys? Anyways, this, this really does remind me of my grandmother. Probably adding too much water. I don't use, I've got plenty of the sticks. I got cream originally, because, you know, everybody's like, oh, cream's easier to use when you're first starting out. But man, I had an easier time using Parasso or the Suavecito I was using. And honestly, I had to get rid of the Parasso Red. It caused irritation. I just noticed I was getting burning from the pre-shave that was the Parasso Red as well. All right, see if we can get this a little bit more hydrated. This razor can. I'm normally just leave it super runny. But this razor can clog easily, so you don't want some thick, luxurious lather. So, but like I said, this is a soap smell, like just, just a clean soap smell. I love palm olive. I'm sorry, I'll get back to it. I found that I was just lathering better with soaps than I was with cream. And then I later figured out, I was just adding too much damn cream, not enough damn water. So, I'm just trying to really go through my creams right now because they don't last as long, supposedly. So, huh, kind of missed the sideburn area up there. There we go. Wipe off on the towel over here. So I'll just kind of edge it right there. Then I push. And like I said, I don't care how I drag it across my face. Yeah. Favorite of mine. You'll probably see me do like passes that don't make sense with this because legitimately it just doesn't matter like i said it can clog easily 
and this blade does feel nice in here, but I'm telling you now, I've used feather. If you don't like the blade, it's going to feel fine in this. There's just really, there really just isn't any blade feel. So, see, look, going over it. Not a problem. And this is where I'll get ingrown hairs, irritation, and weepers. So. There we go. That was a decent first pass. Really enjoyed it. We're going to give it a little bit of a rinse. So yeah, guys, I've I never thought I'd hit this many subscribers, and it may be a while before I hit 100, but got me worried, and I had already been thinking about my first giveaway the first day I did my video, and I figured I'd have time to work on it, but we'll see, right? I don't know why I just wiped my face. It felt so smooth. Maybe that's why. All right. Put it on. Just keep it thin. So I've been giving it some thought. And I think I'd like my first giveaway to be like a starter straight razor set. You know, starter strop, some inexpensive soap, maybe an inexpensive brush. Just something to get someone started that's maybe interested watching channels. Maybe if you got people watching your channels, you can tell them come over here, subscribe. He's giving away a straight razor set. Because I'd like people to make the switch. They couldn't afford it necessarily. I mean, straps tend to get expensive. It is intimidating. Buying a razor for the first time if you're wanting to buy on the cheap. And you don't know what you're doing or looking for. And I still don't know what I'm doing or looking for. Excuse me. Did not mean to let that burp come out. So... I was just thinking, got some scales in mind, found a guy that can do that. I can do everything else, it turns out. Been working on one. There you go. So I guess I'm going to do a third pass just for shits and giggles. Maybe a little touch up on the neck because I do feel some down there at the bottom. We'll just touch up the neck. So yeah, guys, if, if you were just looking for a daily shaver, looking to save money and start out and get a quick shave, this would be it for me. And it's super nice. And like I said, right here, it's where I get weepers. And grown hairs. No issues. And I'm just really don't care. Did I get a weeper right there? I think I had a bump. Anyways, never seems to be an issue with this razor. I can just come in here, half asleep in the morning, brush my teeth, and be done with this. No time. I mean, I, I really enjoy shaving and I enjoy my time. But in the morning, if I'm in a rush and I just really don't have time, that's why I use palm olive. I mean, it is cheap. I told y'all. Reminds me of my grandmother. Really enjoy it for that reason alone. Um, the reason I'm about to use the aftershave I prefer is because... This was actually the first aftershave I was given by my Uncle Davey. Tell you what, loved my Uncle Davey. That man, call him about anything, need advice on fishing. He was the guy. He was born with spina bifida. He was in crutches for a while, most of his teen and early 20s, but I think then that's when he went to a wheelchair. Never complained, but we played dominoes. Just great guy, but... Skim bracer, first aftershave I ever got, and it, it came 
from Uncle Davey. So, and he always talked about he just really liked the scent. Whoo! Little bit of burn, little bit of cool. By men and y'all remember that commercial? Oh man, I do love the skin bracer. It just feels great. So, I'm gonna rinse my brush a little. And guys, y'all really need to go and get in on that raffle. Johan's got going on for Parkinson's. Um, my grandmother-in-law passed away and Parkinson's was a big part of the reason. Um, when I was really little, this may make me sound ignorant, you know, up to like 12, my great-grandmother on my mom's side, she had palsy. And I used to think palsy and Parkinson's were the same thing because people shook. But, I mean, I later learned out, learned about the difference. But I think it's great. Johan's got a raffle going. People are donating. It's, it's a serious disease and it needs to be... We need to put more effort into finding a cure. Um, but I do appreciate his kind words and honestly everybody go buy a raffle ticket five dollars It's not gonna hurt you for me. That's less than a pack of cigarettes. I know I should stop but You know just making a point five dollars isn't that much money. I Don't know why I'm talking to y'all y'all probably came here because of Johan or CDB and They've already mentioned this so Anyways guys, let's recap. Oh You know what? I didn't put this in my shave of the day picture but I've been using this about two to three times a day. The Suavecito. It's just nice and cooling. I mean, I know I use menthol, but it actually seems to relieve some irritation that I tend to get at the bottom of the neck, which today I really don't feel any irritation. So, sorry guys if a little off on this video, had a bit of a long day. But again, I want to thank everybody for subscribing, viewing, giving me great words of encouragement. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much where we are. We finished with Suavecito aftershave cream. Right before that, skin bracer, palm olive, star of the show, menorah blade. And the Focus Dynamic R48. I really love this. Um, as I said before, and you know what? I was about to say everybody have a good day. See you in a couple of days because I actually have another shave planned. And since this is technically technically my vacation, I'm not working as much. Did volunteer to work. But I'm going to fit in another shave before Father's Day. I have a Father's Day shave planned out. Um, kind of for my dad. But just so people know, these are... These are the razors I'm thinking about. This is a Northfield Cutlery Company, Connecticut. I want to say this is probably a half an inch blade. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Maybe a 9 16th. Um, from what I understand, they were the last Case Family Cutlery. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on it. And this... And this is a Robert Holman Sohn made in Solingen, Germany. You won't be able to see. I'm sure that it's got etching on it. I think it's called the Equator. Anyways, maybe y'all can comment. Tell me which one. I'm pretty sure this is a 6 eighths. This is probably a 9 16 I'll measure them. But if y'all leave in the comments which ones you think I should really be working on to get scales put on so I can do a giveaway. Comment below. Let me know which one you like better. Show you again. Northfield Cutlery. Know a little bit of history about this one. Kind of cool. The Sullingen round point. We'll see how it goes. See what y'all have to say. Please pick one. Comment below. I'm thinking about doing camel bone with a natural turquoise wedge. Um, it'll look really nice. Blades are inexpensive. So, 
I think that's about it. Sorry guys, not rolling as much. Like I said, had a crazy day today. Johan, gotta get one. You gotta get one. I will be doing another shave before Father's Day with this on video. Just so I can show Johan his favorite razor in action. So guys, y'all have a good night. Have a good week. Hope to see y'all again Friday or Saturday.